What's up? It's like 9 a.m. June 4th. I'm in my hometown, Rocky. <clears throat> For the first time in six years. First full day I'm gonna spend here since July 11th, 2013. And uh, I forgot just how dead everything is in the early morning and evening. Uh, well, I mean, it's more dead in general, but it's especially dead now. I don't see anyone. I'm just seeing the first vehicle now coming up in the distance uh, I mean it's kind of nice it's like peaceful and quiet uh, yeah, but, like I'm in a suburban area but even in in the cities suburban areas are like way more popping than they are here but anyway I'm gonna like get some food first off I'm hungry as fuck and then I'm gonna like go see some places that I uh, haven't seen in a long time like there's this big rock you can climb on. Uh, go to some old stores, see if I see anyone I recognize. I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This place it's like more like naturey. There's a lot more like trees, open space. Everything's less cramped. You hear more birds and stuff. It was just raining, so hopefully it don't rain again. And uh, yeah, anyway, after I get some food and go to those places, I'm going to see my mom and brother, who, like I said, haven't seen in six years. That'll be really fun. going to take a lot of pictures, give them some gifts. Oh, shit, I just realized I was supposed to bring something and I didn't bring it, but it's cool. I'm going to see them again, like, tomorrow, so I'll bring it next time. Anyway, 
Rate, comment, subscribe. I'm on what we call the walking path. It's about a, like a five kilometer, maybe more, path of uh, just nature that you can walk. And it's not like part of any designated park or whatever. Like this is at the edge of town by the highway. And it was going in between houses in the suburban area. Just a very nice place to walk. I used to bike down here. That's one nice thing about a town this small is you can have like big like kind of nature areas like this instead of like a little enclosed square park because uh, it's not a big issue of like oh we need to knock down these trees to make houses for all of the people who are moving in like uh, in fact people are probably moving out of here so I've heard the population is declining so space isn't the issue so you got a lot of nature stuff I mean it's not like deep in nature like right here you can see like houses but it's nice enough and uh, on a quiet morning like today it's pretty cool to just go for a walk The two kilometer point, if you start at the beginning, I was kind of starting at the end or close to it. It's pretty cool. I like that carved rock. Now, this, this hill, I don't know if it's exactly safe. It's not that steep, but in the winter, people go tobogganing here and it's a fun time. You can bring your family, you know, it's free, you don't gotta pay no fees or nothing. You just go down this hill. And uh, it's nice that it, it like, it, it's like a U-shape. So you, you go down the hill and then you stop at the bottom. You don't keep going too far into traffic. Like if I kept going downhill into the road, that'd be an issue. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I've, I've gone down that at least once on a toboggan. And uh, there's someone who died, I don't know. Youth justice community. Okay. It's an unsupervised toboggan here. There are potential risks. Use safety helmets. And you got no quadding or ATVs as they call it in Montreal. No uh, Jeeps and stuff like that. And uh, don't, don't ride a sled into a tree. Basic advice. We're getting pretty close to the big rock. I might just keep filming until I get there. And I need to kind of save space. I only got an eight gig card, but uh, I'll stop and I'll start again when I'm there. Dun, dun, dun. Now that's a big rock. Now this is a place where kids will hang out. Uh, it's, near, it's near school. You can't see the school from here, but it's pretty near a school, so kids will come here, climb up here, you start by putting your feet there, and then you do a small foothold there, and up there, and you turn up to the top and just and sit up there, and so, any candy from the, the grocery store that's over there, they have a wide selection of candy, which is also near the school, and uh, it's rough and bumpy on this side, but... Over here it's like smooth. In fact you can slide down but it kinda hurts your ass. So yeah. It's called a erratic or something like that. Uh, it's from a glacier. I don't know. The real history is that kids will hang out here. I remember doing that. There's a church over there. But yeah, so there's a whole a whole sign about the history of it. There's a bigger one like somewhere else in uh, in Alberta, but this is like <laughs> one of the coolest things in the town. There used to be trees here, but they cut the trees so you could like see it from the highway, which I guess is a good idea for like tourism or whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can climb up and uh, I'll get back to you. 
I made it to the top. <laughs> it was rough. I'm carrying a heavy backpack and it was like weighing me down, but I made it. I don't know. <laughs> I hope getting down is easier because yo, I was worried I was going to slip for a second. But here it is in all its glory. The big rock. And that is the candy slash grocery store I'm going to go to in a second. I don't know how well you can see it. The one with the white sign. Woohoo. I hope that, that grocery store. Uh, it's more like a convenience store. A big convenience store. But anyway. Uh, the, it's called Rolf's. And it was run by a guy named Rolf obviously. And he would bring his dog when he did his shifts. His dog Riley, who was quite young at the time I left, so I don't know if Riley still around or if age caught up to her. But uh, you know, it'd be a pleasant surprise to see a nice old dog <laughs> walking around. But I'm not really expecting it either. I have been gone six years. The dog was maybe like uh, hard to tell, maybe <laughs> around six at the time. So yeah, anyway. Right, comment, subscribe. So this is the middle school I went to. Got a lot of bad memories there. <laughs> Man, fuck that school. And uh, I don't know if you can see in the distance with the brown roof, that building. That's an elementary school. One of two elementary schools in the town. And then over here, uh, you can't see it, but to the left, there is a high school. Which is the high school I went to. There's only, well, there's two high schools, but one of them's private, so that was the public one. Uh, yeah, and this is the bus stop, all of these blue thingies. This is where the bus stops. I'm trying to remember where the shops and stuff are relative to here. I think I gotta go straight and then left. So I'm gonna take uh, another video next time I see something interesting. Oh, side note, back there, one of these houses, there was a girl I had a crush on who lived there. I went to her birthday party one year. I was 17, got drunk for the first time. Don't tell the cops. And uh, yeah, it was a good party until like this one guy got belligerent. But that was like, yeah, memorable to me because it's the first time I got drunk. And like some of my coworkers were there. People kept talking about how fun I am at parties and stuff. Oh, yeah, this is, this is a campground, by the way, behind these trees. Like a shitty campground, but you know what it is. I made s'mores there once. This is a helipad. Sometimes a helicopter would be landing there, and you have to like go to the other side of the street because like it can make debris go flying and hit you in the head and decapitate you. So yeah, you just go across the street. This is the swimming pool, or the aquatic center, as they call it. I mean, I've never heard anyone call it that, but there you go. Um, I went there a couple times, but I could never really swim that good. Uh, and then this is the back. It doesn't look like too much, but it's the back of the arena where people play hockey and stuff, which is also where my dad works. And then down there, over yonder, is basically the back of the dominoes I used to work at, like at the very end there. So I'm going to stop by there once they're open. It's not open yet. And uh, just see if uh, any of my old co-workers are there. Hopefully uh, at least the manager's still there. Yeah. Here it goes. The new attempt of the any percent world record of Octodad. RTA. Let's go. We got the runner. Brad himself. The legend. Fifth place in the world. You should have tell us any any techniques that you use. But first, we got a fifteen dollar donation from Yoshi Mario five one one. He says, "Good luck with the the charity." My dad died from cancer, and now he's dead, and I'm sad. Keep up the good work. Audible Save the thing. animals. <laughs> <laughs> Save the frames. Brought to you by theyeti.com. <laughs> it's right here. I, I, actually, this is pretty hard to do. So you. So, serious time? Yeah. So you actually try to put the tie on first. 
instead of doing it in the mirror. Yeah, and at this, yeah, there we go. Pretty much wasted time doing that. But... They I'm still shook that like percent. Cyrus got stabbed. Yes. Where did Cyrus come into that fucking fight at all? I didn't see one comment from Cyrus. I'm here. When does, like, as soon as this credit like, starts, concession we pause, start? quit, and main menu, and then save the frames. And then it restarts to the second level of skipping that intro credit. Oh, that seems good. Oh, that's where he falls from the sky? Yeah. You need an SSD to get the real world record. That's right. <laughs> Sleep deprivation percent. <laughs> Is, is this a trick? Table flipping me? No. if you throw it out of the cell. Yeah. So it just like respawns on top of the barbecue and make it cooking. Oh. Okay. And it doesn't matter if you cook, if you burn the hamburger or patties. Oh, okay. Or your hand. Did, did you see my uh, speedrun of that visual novel? Yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, my second most viewed video now. Nice. No. No. You just gotta get rid of it? Yeah. You have to pull the weeds. Let's see if we can pull the weed without grabbing the pie. What's happening? I'm just chilling at my dad's place, waiting for my grandma to finish doing her stuff, and then we're going to go have lunch. It's the third day I'm here. Second day, I went to see my mom's mom, grandma. My, my grandma, who is my mom's mom. Um, and, you know, we had... Uh, she gave us a uh, homemade uh, strawberry jam, which was super good, and we just chatted and took pictures and hugged and stuff. It was nice, and then, yeah, and then we went grocery shopping and smoked a lot of weed, uh, me and my mom, and then I played Smash with Brett, and um, I think that was about it. Yeah, and before that, previous day I watched, like, The Love Guru, because my whole family had seen it except me, so they were always referencing it, and I, I didn't get the references, but now I do. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yesterday I went, um, I thought my mom wasn't home, but it turns out she was just like in the bathroom, so she didn't hear me knock. Um, so then I'm like, okay, I guess she's not there. I texted her, I said, okay, I'm gonna go for a walk until you're back. And then I did, and like 30 minutes later, she texted me, oh, sorry, I was in the bathroom. And by then I'm like all the way at 7-Eleven, and then I went to like this uh, video game slash comic book store. And um, I went to a couple different stores that I haven't been to in a long time. There's only one real store I still want to go to, which is, it's called T-Rocks. It didn't exist when I left, I'm pretty sure, but I want to pick up something for Jackie there. Um, but yeah, so far, I, I, all I can do now is wait. I don't know exactly how it works with the doorbell in like condos like this. Yeah, that traffic's loud as fuck. But yeah, hopefully, um, it's gonna like be a normal doorbell or something and then I'll know to come down because I don't want to wait outside. <laughs> okay, very comment, subscribe. What's happening for him? These are the bushes I used to like play in as a kid. There's sort of a path here. Sort of. But everything grew so much. You can barely walk through this anymore. Also they cut open entrances like this to get into the lanes of the trailer park shitty weather pretty cold but everybody's out everybody's working or something so I'm just walking around you know buy some food or something and just uh, you know enjoy the outdoors or whatever as so, well as I can in the five degrees raining weather there's a 
church up here that I distinctly remember going to, I went to the back of it and danced while listening to Glass Swords by Rusty for the first time because I got it as a gift from a friend. That's what I remember about that church. I've had a pretty good time here so far. And uh, the good weather's coming up starting Sunday. It's Friday now. And then I'm gonna go to the mountains. Gonna go maybe kayaking. Definitely gonna go to a concert on Tuesday. See Judas Priest. So that's gonna be fun. Right now I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Uh, either today or tomorrow, I might go to a bar with, uh, I think my mom and her friend. Why not? There ain't too much to do in this town. Other than that, what else is there? There's like bowling in the theater, which has two movies, and they're always the family-friendly movies. Which are good sometimes. Yep. Very quiet. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to the mini mart. I think see if uh, the cute Korean guy still works there who I knew from before I used to go there all the time buy random Korean foods and he'd ask me if I liked him But now I actually know some Korean so I could flex Don't know what else my stop at 7-eleven again. I don't know just look around That's about it. Very, very peaceful and quiet. Just birds and rain. The real star of the show, the dog. The star of the show. Right? The park or parade theme is indigenous peoples. Oh. Salute to indigenous peoples. Okay. So you see lots of these kind of folks this year. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
What's up? It is Wednesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, it's Tuesday, uh, the 11th of June, and I'm just killing time before I have to go to, um, I mean have to, I, before I go to uh, Edmonton and go see a concert, I'm gonna go to a water park and everything, I gotta buy swimming trunks first though. Um, yeah, and then after that, I'm going to stay the night in Edmonton at the hotel, come back home, say goodbye to everyone, um, print out my boarding pass, and then Thursday morning, I leave. Bittersweet. I uh, feel like I did pretty much everything I wanted to do. I just want to spend more time with everyone. Uh, but, I mean, it doesn't take long to see all there is to see around here. So I'm just heading out to Ralph's one last time, or for the last time, for a while anyway. Gonna get some pop or some some candy or whatever, maybe a snack. 
then head back. His dad has to like wait for some guys to go check out his uh, balcony. But uh, yeah, when I'm back home, I'll make a video maybe. Probably make one that's like a summary of everything I did. Oh, look, it's a school bus. School bus. <laughs> okay, there's, there's no people in it, just the driver. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's just as quiet as ever. It started raining today. It's been nice the past couple days. Went to Red Deer yesterday. Went to a bar, went and did a lot of things. I'll, su I'll sum it up another time, maybe. Um, hmm. This is, this is what I'm looking at. Empty suburbia. Nobody lives here anymore. I'm really glad I don't live here. <laughs> There's no opportunity. You just gotta like get a minimum wage job and then hope one day you get promoted to supervisor. That's like the extent of your aspirations. You got any bigger aspirations, you move out. City people don't know, man. They don't know the struggle. They don't know what it's like to not have access to everything. I used to bike on this path. Yeah. You occasionally see like one vehicle. And that's it. I got a bunch of souvenirs. Got some makeup for Jackie. Got some like mugs and postcards and um, some stuff, various stuff for our family too. Uh, dream catcher, a uh, ceramic bear for her mom, a shirt for her dad. Uh, I don't know, some other stuff too. I don't remember everything. Oh, there was like a fountain thing I got. I got various like stones that's supposed to have magical properties. And uh, oh yeah, if I'm lucky, I might see West Edmonton Mall uh, tomorrow. But anyway, break on this right. Song is taking off the new album called Living. 